Hey, it's Rob. Uh, in the kitchen again today. Surprise, surprise. Um, got something again I've never tried, and it's a corned beef brisket. Uh, picked this up at Costco, and uh, I'm going to cook this sous vide. Uh, I've been looking online, and there's a couple of good sous vide recipes for corned beef. So I'm going to, you know, prepare it and kind of show you what I'm doing in case I screw up, so that you know I do it so that you don't have to. First things first, I'm going to drain all the brine out of the bag. Um, this is really, uh, it's just a brining solution to help keep the moisture in the meat. Save out the little sauce package, or the spice package. Ooh! Fun! All right. Give this a good rinse. And a good shake dry. And the next thing I want to do is pat this dry uh, to try and get as much of the moisture off of the surface of the meat as possible so that the spices will stick a little bit better. Now that the meat is reasonably dry, I'm going to uh, spread some of the uh, spread some of the love. I'll get about half of it on this side. vacuum sealed brisket. I'm going to pop this into the uh, sous vide aquarium for 48 hours. That's why I wanted to start it today. Because this thing is going to cook for two days. Nice and slow. All those spices and everything should get into the meat and flavor it really well. And we'll see how it looks. So get back in a couple days. Baby back ribs. Next thing I want to do, you see this membrane that's on here? I want to get that membrane off. And trying to peel it off, they make this look so easy in the YouTube videos.
Try it with a spoon. A little bit of paper towel. I'll pull it onto it. And there we go. And yeah, I cut it in half because uh, otherwise the whole thing wouldn't fit into the sous vide aquarium. Uh, but these are ready to go pretty much any time. I'm going to let these sit in the fridge for a couple days because right now I'm actually cooking something else in the sous vide. So I'm going to finish that up and then we'll do these and uh, get back to you later.
I've never done coin bee brisket before. Uh, the smoking is a really good idea. The ribs are, well, they're a little dry at this point, but, you know, they don't have any sauce. So we're going to have to fix that. All in all, I'd say this turned out pretty good. I think we might have to do more of this. I want to find a better way of smoking. I don't have to figure that out, but hey, we got it. <laughs> yeah. All right, who's gonna sit? Oh, somebody's already sit. Yeah. All right, Piper, sit. Good girl. Yeah. Okay.